Hello, my name is David Espinosa. I am from Peru, an international student at the University of Colorado. I am part of the interdisciplinary telecommunications program at CU. Yeah. Well, in, I thank people from ITP that give me this opportunity to share my, ex my experiences and all the good things that been happening to me when I came here. Well, I came I initially in 2008 for the master's in telecommunications, and it was a really great experience because my undergrad education was, was in electrical engineering, and I was very, what people can call a technical guy. I knew about uh, electrical stuff, telecommunication equipment, but when I came here, I started learning the other areas that before I didn't cover. I didn't know much about, but I knew that in companies, those are part of the whole tele telecommunications industry. For example, the financial part, the economics part, regulatory, policy, business, all those things that when after I finished the undergrad, so like so far in the future or thinking, oh, s s in the industry, someone else, someone else will do that. I learned that actually in the, my career as engineer in the telecommunications area, I will need to know those things because uh, projects are not just technical or just regulatory or just uh, business. It's all related. And that's something that I learned here and it was very interesting. For example, how the uh, economics part impact on the technology it doesn't matter how certain technology is really good or it depends also how it's introduced into the market, the acceptance of the technology on people. And there is also the regulatory environment. Will that technology affect other technologies? There are different areas like how the government or different regulatory bodies uh, provides uh, policies and regulations for that. And there are all, in the markets, all different uh, products, technologies, and all of them have, uh, have to coexist. And it was amazing to learn about that. And so far it's been a great experience, and I have been learning basically from the beginning, and I continue doing that. After the master's degree in, in 2011, ITP was starting with the PhD program, and I applied and was accepted, and I started at the, in August 2011. Uh, the difference that I found is the level of uh, depth that we that I was doing to my research. I start I focus my research on the impact analysis from the economical, financial, and business point of view of rolling telecommunication systems like wireless networks in rural areas of uh, developing countries. My study case was based on the um, wireless network based on the 802.11G network in the Peruvian Amazon uh, rainforest. And this network uh, was initially deployed to provide uh, telemedicine services. But then we tried to expand the services in this network for education and commerce. Uh, well, that was my case of study, and what I was been learning, uh, it helped me a lot to see the big picture of this type of projects that currently are being in growth and I think part, uh, have caught uh, part of the, ten uh, of the attention of government in South America. So I focus on that and I've been, I've been working in that. In the PhD, now I've been going into more in depth, not just understanding, but trying to create a new environment from the business, regulatory, policy, and uh, technological point of view, how to create a new system or environment to promote this kind of technologies for the benefit of the society, the people, everyone, governments, the industry, how to work a new model. And that's more like the research that I've been doing recently. Well, besides also school, that it's 
being great, all the things, all the resources that I have around, really good faculty, uh, all the staff working here. The university has really great resources at libraries, access to databases, contact with the industry. Uh, for example, last semester, this, the founder and former CEO from Nextel came here, and we were talking to him just right in front of him, we were discussing with him, he was talking to us about his experience, and that's a great company worldwide deployed, and um, when I was in Peru, I never imagined that I would uh, meet the founder and just talk to him like a friend there. So it's a very, and um, there are conference in the Silicon Flat Iron Conference, there are speakers who come here to the program, so is the, uh, Basically, if you really want to know, um, understand all the tele worldwide current uh, leading technologies and trends, here you can talk to the person who basically created. Right now there is a professor faculty who participated in, in creating the protocols, the, in the industry protocols, for example, the Wi-Fi protocols, people who work in CDMA from the beginning, so it's, uh, it's basically everything that the students can learn, it's basically hand, it's handy. We can learn about all different areas. Mm, well, besides the, the academic part and what we have been studying here, there is also the location that I've been living here for around four years. Uh, the environment is, is really good. It's the city is just right next to the mountains. Um, on weekends, after really hard, working really hard and studying, or after midterms or finals, student can just go and hike or go to ski or spend some time next to a beautiful lake in the mountains. It's a really, really great place to live. And in the personal, from the personal, from my personal life point of view, I met here, I, well, I have here really great friends, met really great people, I feel really comfortable here, and well, I was able to learn and practice more English, but, and, but from the time that I just came here, it's, it's been really good.